Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending January 21st. First up, there's two articles about the sun that is in the news this week, and as a matter of fact, one of the occurrences is going to be happening right as I'm making this report. This is Sunday morning at around 8 a.m. There was a coronal mass ejection on Thursday that is traveling fast enough. The leading edge of it is going to hit us today, Sunday morning. Uh, it's going to be a minimal impact, they say. Now, if it was to hit us directly head-on, it could take out some satellites, but they say because it's going to hit us a glancing blow, the majority of it's going to go over the top of us, over the North Pole, it may actually have some uh, positive effects because when the atmosphere is ionized by one of these coronal mass ejections, the atmosphere expands slightly, and it'll drag down particles of space debris and space junk, and they'll fall out of the atmosphere and burn up, so it, we may actually get some positive effects from this. If it was to hit us head-on, yeah, it probably could take out some satellites. They said it was actually that powerful, but fortunately we're just going to get the glancing blow. And the next article, now this is kind of mistitled. They say the first footage of a comet smashing into the sun. Now I'm thinking, well, I've seen comets and meteors before where they've plunged into the sun and you don't see much of anything. They just go in and disappear. Well, this one, it, it's kind of cool because it's a comet. They're naming the comet um, Icarus as a nickname. They've got a, a number for it. It's Comet C 2011N3. What it happens is it actually hits into the corona of the sun and disassembles itself. It just kind of shatters into tiny pieces and then dissolves. They've never actually seen um, pictures of a comet actually doing that. And this comet is among a group of comets that come really close to the sun and they've been hoping to get good views of this. Later on down in the article, if you read down, there's some video that's kind of cool and it does from far away show a view of this comet breaking up, but the pictures at the top of the article are actually far better. Um, not that I would say you want to skip the video. The video is a very interesting video, but it just does not show the detail of the picture at the top of the article. And as usual, both of these articles, the links to them will be posted down in the description box. Third thing up, uh, speech synthesizer. Now, um, some of you have heard of auto-tune, where singers can sing, and then the um, equipment, hardware, combination of hardware, software, causes them to sing in tune. Well, now they have a thing called uh, Vocaloid, and I guess if a singer sits down and trains it, you can actually, by training it, it'll know every syllable you sing, and it can recreate your voice and sing songs that you've never actually sung. Now I guess they have it to the point where you could actually resurrect dead singers, in other words, with less training or, or actually the no need of training by actually um, the performances in the past that the singer has done, they can actually bring them back to life. Maybe a little bit creepy. I remember they had the ad years ago about Fred Astaire selling vacuum cleaners where it, obviously it was created footage because it wasn't something he actually did in his lifetime and that kind of creeps people out. So I'm just wondering, what do you think about bringing back a dead vocalist to sing a song they've never sang before uh, based on some type of a synthesized voice where they recreate it? Uh, because now they don't need the training before you would sit down and you would, in front of a microphone, pronounce every syllable and train the thing and then it could work. But evidently now they don't really need that to accomplish it. This is from Wired. And last off, I definitely want to touch on SOPA and PIPA. And this is really interesting because I think it kind of tells the truth behind everything. It's great that we fought it, we knocked it down, but um, we still got to keep the fight up because they're going to keep coming back and coming back. And listen to the title of this article from Tector. Hollywood studio execs upset that President Obama didn't stay bought, insists they won't donate more. And this is a quote from a studio exec. And in this article, they have uh, links to other articles too. Listen to this. God knows how much money we've given to Obama and the Democrats, and yet they're not supporting our interests. Well, imagine that. Politicians actually supporting the interests of the public and the voters above the studio execs. How dare they? So if you get a chance, check out this one. This one's from Tector, and the other article that it refers to, I think, is from Hollywood Insider. Yeah, or Deadline Hollywood. Deadline, well, the, the website's deadline.com, is the references to the quotes in the articles. Uh, another thing that concerns me, too, is it seems they're acting like SOPA and PIPA exist. If you haven't heard, Mega Upload got pulled down. Um, it's still going to be tested in court, but the problem when they do it this way is even if Mega Upload wins, the fact that you know they are just a storage site, they're not 
one's responsible for what the users do, supposedly because of the safe harbor rules, um, you can end up winning the court costs, but it costs you so much you go out of business anyway. So that's a concern of mine, too, that uh, the justice system is acting like SOPA and PIPA already exist and going after sites and pulling them down because they could possibly have copyright material. So anyway, keep up the good fight. We won this one, but there's many more rounds to fight. So take care, everybody. I will catch you next week.